Hey boys and girls, this is Wildman Willis here. I'm doing a review of the new Justice League movie. Well, it was an okay movie, but coming off the heels of the Avengers movies, it just feels like a common copy of Asia Ultron and the first Avengers movie. So it doesn't feel like anything new was done in the movie. The plot is almost the same. The acting of the heroes is better than the movie itself. The CG is okay at some parts, but other parts, uh, Cyborg looks atrocious to me. They could have did a much better job with him. The CGI with him was really off. I liked him better when he had on sweatpants and a hoodie. It looked more convincing than the actual CGI character. It didn't have the crispness and the uh, tactileness of, say, like seeing an Iron Man suit on the screen. Even in the original Iron Man, looked better than this movie. So, hate to compare this to the Marvel movies, but you got to because it's that's just the way the movie is. And it has a bland villain. Steppenwolf had no personality whatsoever. You kind of understand what he was doing. Even though I feel like they should have just went ahead made Dark Side the main villain. And not be scared because of Thanos in the Marvel movie. So I enjoy Ben Affleck as Batman. Henry Cavill finally had a personality as Superman. I guess it took them to get killed in order for him to come back and actually act like a Superman that we like. Even though, save, shave your mustache because that CGI lip was very, very disturbing looking. And you could tell it was CGI. So, that kind of ruined me for seeing him on the TV, on a video screen. I went to see it in 3D. That was pretty cool. And one thing that I love about the movie was you could hear the 89 Batman theme through the whole movie when Batman was doing his action. I think they was trying to evoke Justice League cartoon with that because sometimes you could hear that playing when he showed up once in a while. And you could hear the little Superman theme beats once Superman came in. So that was kind of cool to see. In here, but all in all, is this the disaster that the critics are saying this movie is? Not really. It's an okay movie, but I think coming after Thor Ragnarok and how beautifully done that was, and how the CGI looked way better than this movie, and basically having the plot of the first two Avengers movies, it doesn't. Oh, it's just feel like the same old, same old. The movie I wanted to see with the Justice League was they do have two end credit stingers, one in the middle and one in the end. And the one at the end should have been the movie that they should have made because it would have feel like it would have been something totally different that we haven't seen yet in a superhero movie. So that would have been a better movie than the movie we got. Personally, I feel. But if you like it, that's on y'all. But it's not all that great. And you can see how it's chopped up. Because you can tell the Josh Whedon parts from the Snyder parts. Because you can tell Snyder's funny color CGI backgrounds all day long. And it doesn't feel like you in the real world. You can see that the backgrounds were CGI. And unlike many of the... Marvel movies that's on Earth, you can actually see cities and towns. This just looked like everything was on the sound stage. So, but all in all, it was so so. It wasn't a disaster. It was just so so. This is Wild Man Will signing off. See you next time.